Stop telling people your opinion for free. Many people are broke today because they are not monetizing their knowledge. Your knowledge and life experience is what gives birth to your opinion, your point of view. And these things took you a lot of time to gather. From birth till now, that's how long it took you to form your worldview, your perspective, your opinion. Alright? So, you have to be careful the way you share it. If you're in an environment where you have to share your opinion for free, maybe a gathering, family gathering, friends gathering, panel of discussion, you know what I mean, internet discussion. When you share your opinion and people start attacking you, some people, they don't like to hear your opinion. Once you say something, everybody comes for you. If it ever happens to you, and your opinion is rejected don't try to force them to see things from your perspective all right the only best thing you can say next is to alert them that if they need your opinion for that you will have to charge for it they have to pay you for it that's the only way they can respect your opinion trying to shout and convince people it doesn't work so if it is in an environment where you can make that alert right you can say since i try to say my opinion people are shouting for me anybody that needs my opinion again have to pay me period You'll be surprised at how much respect they will have for you from then on. Once you said, keep quiet, don't shout, don't exchange words with anybody, and so on. Another uh, angle is when you're advising somebody and the person doesn't take the advice, you have to alert them that the last time I advised you to do this, you refused. That means if you need my advice again, you have to pay. There was this lady I was giving an advice on a business she's supposed to do, and she shouted it down. Uh, because I could see that the business she was currently doing, she's not doing it well. She was into this hairdressing and all. Um, she might be a good hairdresser, but she, the, the whole business thing, she's not able to do it well. All right. So this business is unable to scale. But I could see her talent in another area. So I was trying to advise her on how way she can scale it. She said, nah, 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 nah. Am I going to tell her more about her business than her? I said, okay, keep quiet. After like three or four months, she, re she reached out to me and said, those things you said, I, I kind of started thinking about it and uh, you're actually right. I'm not making money from this business. Can you please refresh my memory on those things you said? I said, ah, 150,000 naira. That's how much I'm going to charge. All right. To refresh your memory on those things I said. She ended up paying 80,000 after negotiation. All right. Before I had to put her through on how to properly scale her business from where it is and you know how to expand it, how to get more people, how to open more branches properly. You know, because if when I was teaching her for free, she didn't value it. The next time she came, I had to charge. That was when she actually implemented it. She is far better off now that I'm telling you. Do you understand? Many people don't value their own opinion. It's it's um, academic training that make people do like that. From when you were born, from two years old, you have already joined the academic system. Once they point you to say something, you stand up and you open your mouth, I say everything you take, do the calculation in your head, answer, everybody will clap for you, sit down. No reward, zero reward. You do that till you finish university. Check your final project in the university. They will ask you to write a project. You will sit down and write the whole book. A whole book. Publish it. Print everything. Submit to the school system. No reward. Now you start thinking that your, your knowledge is valueless. That's what that's the side effect of such a system. Even though there are positive uh, outcomes from it, your ability to document your ideas. And, but there's a side effect in which you get kind of subconsciously start devaluing your own idea. Many people will not be poor today if they know how to monetize their ideas. All right? The best thing you can always tell people is, look, I don't tell my ideas for free. If you reach out to me now as native doctor, you need help with X, Y, Z. Once uh, you have described the problem and I know I have the solution, I'll tell you, look, I have to bill you. Most people you give things for free. If you have done business before, you know what I'm about to say now, that your worst customers that will give you the worst headache are the ones that start by trying to bargain for free. Hey, please, please, they'll come and ask you how much you sell this, and you say, ah, oh, this, that, 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 what of this? They will take time and choose the best one. After stressing you, they will now start asking you, ah, my great grandfather died, I left me, she's spending me, I'm doing surgery again, I don't have money. Please, can you give me for free? 
If they can't get it for free, they try to price it down, price it down. The moment you give it to them, you have become the worst person in the world. They will come back and say you give them the worst product, they need a refund, they need that, this, that, that. So, if you are going to charge for your service, charge. It's better for you and the customer. And it helps you weed out all the people that are not serious that would have caused you unnecessary problems. Alright, so you can narrow down to the people that really need it. People that really need something will, will pay for it. Except your prices are outrageous. You get what I'm saying? There is no, for instance, there is no um, um, religious system or medical system where they don't charge you. If you go to church today to date, money must leave your pocket today to date to date. Is that how they collect offering or tithe or first seed, uh, first seed, first fruit, uh, sow a seed that will provoke the Lord, donation to pastor? Money must leave your pocket. That's the only way people value the prayer that pastor is saying. If they are doing it free, free, people will not value. They will beat pastor one day. Pastor, you do, you do the talk. You talk too much. The reason they value that thing he's saying is because at the end of the day, money will leave your pocket. And hey, that's how they listen, stay and actually listen and hear what the man is saying. Otherwise, you're a noisemaker. Go to any hospital in the world. No hospital ever treats anybody for free. The only doctor in the world that can treat you for free is your family member. Maybe your family member is a doctor. Even at that, they will still direct you to go and buy the drugs. No, med no hospital in the world treats for free. Anytime you have free medical, somebody has paid for it. Is either you, you are paying for it directly, or somebody paid for a number of patients to be treated for free, or there is a, some fund or donation. There is no free treatment anywhere. Number one is doctor must eat. The doctor that is trying to treat you for today has to eat so that he can treat somebody else tomorrow. He has to earn a salary. The hospital needs maintenance. Do you understand? Once you land at the hospital, first thing you pay for is card. You pay for card to open card. All of us know that open card, opening card is free now. Somebody will just sit down and write your name. But you pay for it. Once you pay, your mind gets into the mode of valuing what next they are about to give you. If they now tell you to go and buy a drug, you will not argue because now you are financially committed. You understand? Imagine that you just land hospital, they just ask you your name and brother, they have written it down and then they tell you, a doctor tell you that you have conquer pomploitis. You will start fighting the doctor. Are you insulting me? Do you know who I am? How can you tell me that I have it? I don't have it in Jesus' name. I don't have it. You get what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons they bill in hospitals. It's not that sometimes hospitals cannot afford to treat you for free. But if they treat you for free, you will not value, you will not do what they are supposed, they are telling you to do. If somebody just calls you now and say, hey, Lida, I'm going to put a knife in your stomach and open it and bring out some of your intestines and cut it and stitch it back for free, will you agree? You will not agree. But that two million you pay will make you humble yourself like this and lie down. Even consult, if you call a lawyer today, let's say you have an issue, you say you want to quickly call a lawyer for two seconds and ask him whether this is a crime or not. Hey, brother, I want to ask you something. Uh, somebody just slapped me, I slapped back. Is it a crime? The first thing that the lawyer will tell you is, my brother, you know this is business now. You have to pay for consultancy. I charge this amount. They will forward you their account details. If you don't pay, that means you're not serious. He, doesn't, he will not even call you again. If, if you charge people for your service and they don't pay, leave them alone. The person is not serious. Highest you can do is remind that, hey, I was, I'm still expecting this stuff. If you see they don't want to pay, they wanted to use you. People use people. You now you have a lot of knowledge. There are some people abroad that know the process of going abroad. They can't monetize that knowledge because anybody that calls them, they will just give the information for free. Hey, my brother, man, just cut so for me now. You are abroad. Let me show me the way abroad. Before you know it, the person is on th three hours on phone giving free information. You apply for this. At the end, the person you told, did they do it? No. They will not value you. Even when they come there abroad, they will not even greet you. You are the worst person in the world. If you know something, just know you can make money from it. That is the whole idea of a university. Universities gathered a lot of smart people, which are professors, and put them together in, in, a, in a, a closed system. And then they advertise to you, hey, come over, come and learn. We'll give you paper, a certificate when you're done. Come and learn from this book. Once you come from the gate, you start paying. You pay every year till you graduate. Pay, 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 pay till you graduate. So don't be shy. To monetize your system anybody that values you or values your knowledge will pay if they don't pay today they will pay tomorrow if people come to you and start attacking you making you feel bad for monetizing your system those people are users they want to use you they will still go and pay another person for another service 
You understand? If you are smart and you are broke, you are not smart. I'm telling you, if you are smart, you'll be able to sell your knowledge.